Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Live It Up, the show where we explore and discuss how to take your life to that next level and beyond. We cover health, wealth, relationships, and how to create a life that feels good. Because after all, that's what we want. We want to feel good. I'm your host and coach, Fletcher Ellingson. So glad you're here. Today on the show, we'll be visiting with Jerry Smith of North Central Washington Mediation. We'll be talking about something I believe is very valuable, and that is mediation. What is it? Who is it for? How does it work? Hey, let's face it. Sometimes we get to a place in our personal or professional relationships where we find ourselves in conflict and we just don't seem to be able to resolve it on our own. This is where having someone who is well-versed in mediation can be extremely helpful. We live in an extremely litigious world, and so mediation can be a powerful option. And I think this is important work, which is why Jerry's on the show with me today. But before we get to that, I do want to remind you that if you have questions you would like me to answer on or off the air, you can email those directly to me at Fletcher at FletcherEllingson.com. And if we use your question on the show, I'm going to send you a copy of my new book, of my new best-selling book on Amazon, which was just released called The Practice of Feeling Good. If you've been following this show and want to learn more about personal development and take on your life even more powerfully, then grab a copy of my book on Amazon. Just go to Amazon and search for The Practice of Feeling Good. You can also visit me at my website, FletcherEllingson.com, where I have all sorts of free resources there. Look, you don't have to figure it out all on your own. There are answers and solutions and ways to get unstuck and move forward powerfully. Now, at this point in the show, I usually take time to answer an email question and offer some coaching. But today, we're going to skip that part because I want to give some additional time to our guest, um, uh, uh, Jerry Smith. And so we're going to take a short commercial break, and then we're going to be right back. So stay with us. Hey everybody, welcome back to Live It Up. I'm so glad you're here, so glad that you're in this conversation. Today on the show, we're visiting with Mr. Jerry Smith from North Central Washington Mediation. Jerry, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, good Thank to see you. Thank you, it's good to be here. Yeah. Hey, uh, before we jump into what it is you do and why you do what you do, we're gonna uh, hear from you, what are a couple wins or what's something that's going well in your life? Because we like to, the, it's the practice of feeling good, noticing, where life is working out. So what do you got to yeah. share with us? Well, uh, Fletcher, coincidentally, just yesterday, I had a mediation down here in Wenatchee at the post office. And uh, we had a great meeting and uh, resolution, settlement, and uh, just, just very coincidental yeah. that we have this interview at the, right on the, on the uh, tail of that. Um, and uh, I always enjoy those opportunities. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just, it just uh, makes my boat float. Yeah, it's like so a breath of speak. fresh air, isn't it? Oh, it, it really is. Yeah. So uh, aside from that, uh, basically I'm just uh, enjoying uh, semi-retirement up here in uh, the beautiful uh, Chelan Valley. Mm -hmm. Uh, with my wife, and we came up here seven years ago out of the Tri Cities, mm -hmm. and uh, we've. Uh, I'm uh, one of my careers is real estate, uh, going almost 45 years now in that yeah. and counting, and uh, and, that, and that has served you well. That's served me well, uh, absolutely, and that's where I first met you. That's right. Uh, helping me with the uh, IT stuff, I guess. With yeah, websites auto. and IDX yeah. and all that good oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I just never forget that. <laughs> and then um, my uh, uh, mediation work, of course, I've been doing for about 25 years now. 25 years, nice. And uh, we've, uh, as far as wins, we have, uh, my wife and I both feel very blessed to be living here. Mm -hmm. uh, we've developed uh, new relationships, new friends through our church family. Uh, and uh, it's just, uh, again, we just feel very blessed. I love it. I love it. Hey, so tell me this. But before we get into what mediation uh, is exactly, some people, 
they have a rough idea of what uh, idea of what that means. But tell me this: Why in the world would you be interested in this? Why would you want to put your nose into someone else's uh, conflict? It's funny you ask that, Fletcher, because I get asked a lot that same question. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to people, you know, because a conflict, you know, that doesn't sound fun. Yeah. Or you know, well. Uh, the good answer, the, the quick answer on that is that it, there are so many rewards that I receive from, from doing this um, uh, that I would, I would uh, basically, if I, if I didn't enjoy a little income stream, you know, I would do it for, for free. Mm -hmm. In fact, <laughs> if anybody's listening here today while I'm talking about the word free, uh, at the end of this, if anyone thinks they might want to uh, look into this further, and you'll have the contacts and so on, mm -hmm. um, uh, if you mention this program out there, uh, the first hour, I'll give my first hour free. Wonderful. And uh, so people can try it out. Mm -hmm. uh, so. I'm glad I got that that in before I forgot. But, yeah. Uh, thanks for that. Thanks for that generous offer. Oh, oh, absolutely. And uh, I just do this because it it is uh, it works. Number one, it works, and it is it's so um, uh, it just fills my heart when I can help people in in conflict. Yeah. Yes. So let's so let's find out a little bit of, about what it is. Um, you've been doing this for about 25 years, you said. So if somebody were to say, hey, Jerry, what is a mediator? Can you, what's the nutshell answer for that? Well, it basically, um, mediation is a informal dispute resolution process mm -hmm. in, in which a impartial third party, the mediator, mm -hmm. uh, sits with the disputing parties or maybe they're just not an over, not a total dispute, just a conflict, mm -hmm. uh, whatever it is. And it sits with them in order to um, uh, listen to dialogue back and forth and so on so that the parties can uh, non-adversarially come to their own uh, conclusion uh, for resolution, how they, how, would, how they would like to go forward. Mm -hmm. So what I hear you saying in that is that you're an impartial third party and you're listening yes. to these people who have not been able to come to, uh, come to an agreement. Right. And uh, so they're coming to you to help, do, uh, help them resolve. And what you're help, helping facilitate is the two of them creating a new possibility. Yes. Is that accurate? Absolutely. As opposed to someone else creating that for them, yes. If, if it were to go through, uh, you know, arbitration or or uh, uh, litigation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just it just makes all kinds of good sense. Right. What I like about this angle that you're talking about is this is really you are attempting to empower both these parties. As opposed to a ruling coming down, you're like you're you're working to empower them to have agency in their life and to create something that's going to work for the both of them. Is that accurate? Absolutely. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Because nobody wants to feel disempowered, right? That's right. And so uh, your your work is to listen and help guide and keep them on track. Right. Yeah. Very very cool. Mm -hmm. And. Um, so can you explain a little bit about the, the process? Like you got two parties sitting mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. across from the table and are you helping guide that conversation? Tell me a little bit about how that goes. Yes, uh, we sit down. We've uh, previously done intake uh, over the phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, brief intakes, uh, a very, uh, very brief and total, totally confidential, of mm -hmm. course. I stress the confidentiality, um, you know, in my work. And, and uh, so um, I, uh, at, in that intake, I gauge 
whether or not this is appropriate, their issue, their circumstances are appropriate for mediation, first mm. of all. Mm -hmm. Making sure there's no uh, criminal activity or threats, mm -hmm. harm, and, and so forth. Got it. Um, and that, that would disqualify it from being the right way to go. Mm -hmm. uh, but otherwise, um, uh, the, we arrange a meeting uh, time and, and place and so on. And uh, when we sit down together, we, we, uh, both parties have an opportunity to explain briefly their, their side of the conflict, mm -hmm. whatever it is, and then just, just allow it to unfold mm -hmm. and talk back and forth and encouraging the parties to actively listen, mm -hmm. which you know all about, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so that they can eventually uh, arrive at some options for uh, moving forward that they can actually put into the form of a settlement agreement um, that they have crafted yes. and not someone else. Yes. So it has a tendency to be longer lasting mm -hmm. and more meaningful. Yeah. Because they've done the work. Yes, I love it. I love that. Uh, thanks for uh, explaining that. Um, we're going to take a quick break, uh, but we're, then we're going to come back. I've got a, a bunch more questions for Jerry about this whole thing called mediation. And who knows? You may be in a situation in your life right now, in a relationship in your life, whether it's personal or professional, that needs some mediation. Um, and that's not a negative thing. It's wonderful that these uh, mediators are out there. Conflict is not a negative thing. It's something that we just want to become practiced at navigating. Would you agree with that, Jerry? Oh, totally. Right of on. course. Right on. All right. So we'll be right back. Stay with us. Hey everybody, welcome back to Live It Up. So glad you're here, so glad you're in this conversation. We're talking with Jerry Smith from North Central Washington Mediation. Uh, Jerry, mediation versus going to an attorney, going to court, kind of tell me what are some of the benefits of working this out through mediation as opposed to taking it to court? Well, first of all, probably first and foremost, well, very top of the list would be the time and cost efficiency. Mm -hmm. of the process. Mm -hmm. It can be over with and all done and settled in, a, in two or three hours yeah, or and, less. And, and I'm going to pause there for a second because I want really people to really hear this because usually when it has gotten to the point of requiring mediation or people are about to uh, retain a, attorneys, they've spent an enormous amount of energy thinking, discussing, arguing, fighting, right, mm -hmm. bickering. Right. And what I hear you saying is like, hey, in two or three hours, it's possible to resolve this. Absolutely. Right? Now let's, let's put this thing to bed and move on. Yes, it's just a no-brainer, Fletcher. Yeah. You know, it's just, you know, I have, anyway, I'll get to that later. But Yeah, so it's going to be, so a time efficiency and cost efficiency is what I hear you saying. Yeah, and yeah, what you pay for the, for legal counsel, you know, compared to what, what, uh, what the fee is with me, and the first hour is free to, uh, remind people mm -hmm. uh, listening out there if if the uh, this show is mentioned uh, uh, give the first hour free and try it out yeah I love it I love it yeah. so and also um, yeah attorney fees court fees they, those bills stack up quickly right yes, yes they do and uh, the other huge benefit, especially in relationships, in ongoing relationships, mm -hmm. be it family, a good friend, neighbors, uh, work uh, partners, whatever, where you're going to have an ongoing relationship, mm -hmm. by resolving whatever the issue is via one-on-one -on -one talking it out, mediation mm -hmm. if you're not able if the people aren't able to do it themselves um, it's it just it just cuts to the chase and by having it not done adversarially 
it, it, pre, it, it almost virtually always preserves the relationship. Mm. And that is huge. Now, I like that. We're going to pause there because that is valuable. Yeah. Uh, we're not, so, the, so the take on this is we're not coming here to win. We're coming here to create something that works for both parties. And what I like what you said, which will also hopefully pre uh, uh, preserve that relationship. Oh, it's very, very important. Yeah, I uh, love that. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when you, when you think of a conflict and going to court, you, you typically have the mindset of there's a winner, there's a loser. Yep. Right? And then everyone's uh, pissed off and it's like, well, you go your separate ways. What we're talking about is working something out and preserving the relationship. And having a win-win. Yeah, there we go. Outcome. Yeah, a win-win outcome. And it, it literally is. Yeah. Because they've done it themselves. Yeah. And, you, uh, and you've seen this over and over and over again in this methodology, yes? Many, many times. For yeah. All these years, yeah. Now, some people out there might be thinking like, well, what, what type of conflict or, or uh, 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 yeah, conflict w would this be for? Can you give, me, give us a, uh, a few examples? Oh my goodness, uh, all kinds of family uh, conflict, whether it's uh, marital or, or uh, parent-teen, or uh, of course the big one is there is in divorce. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll just throw this in real quick on divorce. When I'm meeting with, with parties going through a divorce who have either been uh, mandated to come to mediation for the for the the, the settlement. Uh, I always remind them that they're divorcing as husband and wife, but but not as parents. Uh huh. Great great point. And so uh, I I just primarily meet with the uh, divorcing parents, uh, but I have met with people without children as well that just maybe need a glorified communication tune-up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, uh, you know what else I like that you said that you emphasized was uh, some of the mediation is coming to you uh, as court appointed. Yeah. And what I want to emphasize there is as this can be a part of that, boy, what about just starting out with this process? Well, that's exactly what <laughs> In a perfect world, Fletcher, mm -hmm. that's what it would be. Mm -hmm. uh, because what happens all too often is that the parties will become polarized with their respective attorneys. And once that happens, you know, the, some of that opportunity is gone. However, you, I, I have been able to build that back mm -hmm. so that they can um, uh, delve into uh, respectful communication on behalf of their kids mm -hmm. um, and, and that part. And you, and you ask about all kinds of, gosh, I, I do workplace, um, like the one I just did yesterday, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the post office, um, uh, mediation, uh, uh, state matters, the family, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 my goodness, it's on my list there. Sure, uh, sure. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, real estate, HOA, neighborhood situations. Ooh. Oh gosh, yeah, right? HOA and, yeah. You got a thing brewing with your neighbor. Don't let that happen. Uh, don't, you know, nip that thing in the bud. Yeah, preserve the relationship. Again, it's a relationship. Yeah. You, 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 you look to preserve and it's so, it's just right there. Uh, you know, it just, just makes all kinds of good sense. Yeah, now I will say this. Uh, what we're talking about is something that people are not practiced at. Mm -hmm. Mediation and, and working uh, through conflict. We're not real practiced at that. And there's a lot of fear around that. There's a lot of mistrust and fear yes. around it. Yes. And so what I uh, know about mediation is that what you're doing is you're creating a safe place. Yes. 
right? So you're not any, on anyone's side. You're you're cheering for absolutely a win-win outcome. Absolutely, this is a safe place where we can begin to create, uh, re recreate that level mm -hmm. of trust. Is that accurate? Absolutely. Yeah. And when the parties can perceive that there is a benefit to coming together, mm -hmm. if they can respectively perceive that there is is a mutual benefit to having this thing resolved. Yes. And, or at least improved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that's, that's another thing, you know, in life, uh, it's always op uh, possible that you don't have everything uh, dealt with, but if you get any part of it, mm -hmm. any aspect of it, it's a win. Yeah. I like that attitude. Yeah, um, you you go in and do the do what you can, the best you can, and uh, uh, and both parties win. Yeah, excellent, excellent. So um, as we are coming towards the end of the conversation, if somebody's out here and they're like, "Gosh, maybe I need to reach out and have a conversation with Jerry," what is the best way to get in touch with you? Well, the good old-fashioned telephone, <laughs> <laughs> for that sure. Uh, 509-521-6441. Got it. And then um, yeah. it's called North Central Washington Mediation, Mediation, Consolation, Conflict Resolution. He's been doing this for 25 years. You've seen a thing or two, yes? I've learned a thing or two. Yeah. And, and I'm and, always learning. Yeah. And, and you've seen a lot of resolution, I, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, by being able to incorporate my counseling background, Fletcher, uh, has really enabled me to create my own unique model. Mm -hmm. um, that, by that, I mean that, uh, you know, within a mediation, I will meet privately with both parties. Mm -hmm. uh, when that, that little process is called the caucus. Um, they have little names for things, but... Um, and during that caucus, uh, I can really delve into the deeper probe of what's going on with each party. Totally confidential, mm -hmm. does not go back to the table, you know, when, yes. when they both come back. Well, I'll do that with both sides. And oftentimes, that allows me to uncover some aspects of the of the conflict uh, that can then be brought back to the table in a little different way. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's your own uh, it's your own discovery method. Uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah, very valuable. Yeah. Um, one last thing I'm going to say, and then we have to wrap up, is if you're hearing this and you're thinking that this, this might be of value to you, but you feel a little fearful around it, what I want to remind you is that that's your opportunity to be courageous. You know, the only time we can be courageous is when fear is present. It will take courage to step out and ask for help, but that is a sign of strength. That means you are strong when you reach out for help. Um, Jerry, we have to wrap it up. Thank you so much for being on the show. Um, again, if you're wanting to get in touch with them, look up North Central Washington Mediation and now it's time for you to get out there, be a source of kindness, be a source of contribution. You do have something to offer this world, and I believe in you.